Wow. It has been two and a half years since I posted this video on YouTube. Two and a half years, man. It just flies like that. It's crazy. This is the time when I was in school. I think it was in third year. I called Paul Pomona, studying electrical engineer. Uh, I skipped YouTube for a long ass time. <laughs> Very long time. I don't know why I made an update for it, but I made an update. Well, here's another update. Two and a half years later. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I eventually graduated Cal Poly Pomona. Finally, right? About 10 years later. Supposed to finish school 2009 and 2010 if I stay focused. But unfortunately, you know, life gets in your way, you know, like I did here. Look, this is my real official transcript when I first started college back in 2003 at RCC. Man, I, first semester I did okay, a 3.0, not bad. And then from there, I just went downhill. I mean, super downhill. I mean, I failed literally everything I tried, like intro physics, intro calculus, intro tennis, pre-calculus, oh man, all these classes, Photoshop, all these classes I failed and continue all the way down to 2008. That's literally five years of failing and trying of trying college. I'm like, damn man, college is not for me because, you know, everybody, everybody should know college is not for everyone, you know, it's only for a smart one, right? Especially when you major in STEM, that's what I thought. So what happened was I went. I went to go to work. Uh, just work delivering pizza. That's what. I, that's all I know uh, outside of school. <laughs> so I started delivering pizza for a long time, and of course, life. You know, relationship problems and stuff like in my twenties. Then I. Then I, I. I get to a point where I'm in mid twenties. I'm like, man, I gotta do something with my life. I can't deliver pizza forever. I can't make a living out of this to support a family if I ever get married and have kids, right? So I decided to give school another try. It was very difficult going back to school at mid twenties, especially the classes that you fell. Man, looking through the transcript when I decided to go back, 2011, 2012, I, I was kind of scared. Especially looking at my old transcript, I'm like, damn, face your fear, right? I'm facing my fear right here. I'm like, man, I don't think I can do this. Should I pick a different major, like an English major or um, I don't know, psychology major, something easy. But not engineering, but, but you know what? I'm gonna stick to my childhood dream. That was to become an engineer. I'm glad I did. I mean, I struggled the hell out of it. Really, really struggled. The only regret I didn't have was document it. I did not document my journey. And I wish I did because it was very challenging. I meet a lot of interesting people along the way. You know, here at Crafton Hills back in 2013, uh, going back to college. I'm like literally 10 years older than all these students. But my face looked younger than them, so I blend in, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe the Asian gene or something. And then eventually I transferred to Kapal Pomona, 2015. And then graduated three years later, 2018. Yeah, it was crazy, man. But I did it. So here's my graduation picture, man. My parents are old, they in their 70s. But my dad kept asking, when do you graduate? When do you graduate? You know, I keep delaying, 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 and finally. That day finally came. I did it. At the graduation, I didn't look for a job. I was I went to Vietnam for an entire month. I took my whole family with me on vacation. And then I came back from my vacation and decided to look for a job in uh, entry level electrical engineer. And that's what I did. I eventually landed a job before Christmas. Uh, yeah, before Christmas of last year. Um, I work for a company now in Pasadena. It's a very nice company. Well, more like I don't want I don't want to give it away, but I work for a company. It's called Company A, right? I work for Company A. Uh, entry level engineer, electrical engineer. Very happy, very blessed. And I begin to thinking, you know what? My next journey is financial independence, retirement early, known as Fire Movement. I want to document this journey. Of course, I've been into finance since the way I was in college. I don't know. I don't know. If you remember watching my old video? I said I mentioned about finance. I love the topic of finance, it's like stocks, real estate, and stuff like that. So I already have a few years of knowledge about that stuff. Then I begin to do more research on retirement because I never thought of retiring early. You know, I'm 33 years old, by the way. Finished college yes last year at 32. I don't start my career until 33. This, this. Uh, winter pretty much you know like six seven months ago because i'm literally 10 years behind all of my classmates you're supposed to gather college at what 22 23 right well unfortunately life gets you right 
So then I began to look at retirement because my boss was like, so 401k, 403b, blah, 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 what's your plan? I'm like, what? Retirement? What the heck? I never thought of that. So I began to do my research and this is what I found. It's kind of sad when I look at this. I'm like, what the heck? These are the savings for people that are too retired. $1,000, only 19% people were saving for $1,000. 18% people say one of 5,000. I don't know where that comes from. That's from companies match. Those who know what that is. I'll go through these later on my, on my, fall, my, future, my future videos. I'm pretty sure that's their match. 18% and then they stop investing. How can you save 6,000? That's so little, you know. But, but I understand, you know, it just depends on people's circumstance. I mean, when I was in college, I was saving more than this. I, I, I was delivering pizza, by the way. And these people, I'm pretty sure that these are household income, I believe. Husband and wife combined together. But if you look at the statistic, it's just so sad, you know. So, let's document this episode one. Let's go to my broker's, individual broker's account. Uh, I left this account alone, 2018. Because I have several broker's, broker's account. Uh, remember, I was a trader, a day trader. So I left this account, 2000, 3000, whatever. So beginning this year, year to date, it was literally 2200 rock bottom, right? Beginning of the year, remember the end of the year, it was so tanking, but <laughs> good thing for me was during the time I was focused on interviews and training. I was looking at the market, I would always freak out. I'm like, holy crap, why am I in the market? But also opportunity to buy, right? Well, I missed opportunity to buy because I was too busy interviewing and getting a job, or getting a career going on, my engineering career. Eventually I got my career going on, but then I began to save and invest Every single month, I just put in my account. I max out my Roth IRA, and I max out my um, my four hundred one. Next is this account right here that I'm showing right now. My Roth IRA I already opened um, last month. I deposited fifteen hundred. From now until the end of the year, I'm gonna do fifteen hundred until I maxed out six thousand. I I think six thousand is the max you can do with Roth IRA. But the 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 point of this video is I want to document this journey that you have to put away money every single month pay yourself first after before you do anything you have to pay yourself first before i pay my bills everybody had bills right i work in pasadena it's expensive down there but i managed to budget and you know save and invest so here's the, the data what i've been doing every single month i put in some kind of money and several thousand at least on May, I put in 7,000. Why did I put so much on May? Well, I like Tesla. I was about to get a Tesla car. <laughs> but anyway, so on May, you can see it keep falling and falling and falling. So I keep buying and buying and buying until I can't buy no more. I'm out of buying power. But then I never, buy, I never out of buying power anyway, right? Because every single month, you can see here, I deposit money to it. And so this month, I again deposit two thousand five hundred. Next month, two thousand five hundred. Next month, two thousand five hundred. Until end of the year, that's another seventeen thousand five hundred towards this account by the end of the year. I'm projecting. So this small account right here should be worth around thirty thousand by the end of the year. We'll see. I get there. Not depend on the market, of course. But the main thing is just put in your money every single month. Put away. Pay yourself first. Then pay your bills. Don't pay your bill first. I don't know why people do that, but yeah, whatever. It just depends on, on the individual. So these are the things I've been holding right now. I've been down a lot. I'm kind of happy and kind of sad. I'm kind of happy because I'm buying more as I go down. I'm currently holding IQ, WB, Tesla, and some Vanguard uh, ETF. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I, let's, let's do this journey. Uh, I hope I have some more friends along the way because this journey is pretty lonely. All, all my co-workers are driving mostly Teslas <laughs> you know when you're making good money as an engineer they are not me I'm an entry level but they are I'm pretty sure they all drive Tesla and I'm driving my old ass car but then again I don't want I don't want to be like like other people you know so that's why I invest then spend that money that I don't need every month like you know two three thousand for me to play but I rather use that money to invest so I want to document this journey and see where it takes me from here. See you on the next episode.